Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing very good. I am not doing too bad. I am off today, so that makes my day much, much better every time. Um, my son is here, so you may hear other noise. Um, my girls are here, of course. I have the door open for some fresh air to come through. And um, they're both there at the door looking around outside. So, what do I have today? As you can see, I have some beautiful, yummy strawberries here. And I have some strawberries. I do have a salad here. Put it close there. It's a, a, more like an Asian salad. So, I'll put that there. I got so much stuff on my plate this time. So, I have something new I have never tried before. So, let's go on to this list or this plate. I have, I have tried this before. It's Gouda. Gouda. I did put the pepper on there. That was me. <laughs> but it's uh, smoked Gouda shells. and So smoked Gouda cheese and shells. I love it. I have some crabless cakes, which I will explain in a minute. Here's a close-up of that. And some pickles. So here is all my goodies. Which I'm going to try to get a screenshot. So there we go. So that is what I have to eat today. These are Gardein crabless cakes. I do not know if I like them. I have never had them before, so I'm not sure. I'm going to insert a tiny little video here in a second just to show you guys what it is, what it says it is. I believe it's gluten-free, it's vegan, everything. Obviously, this is not vegan. This is vegan, and this is the pickles but this does have cheese in it I'm not sure you can make your own if they have a if they have a vegan um gouda cheese I'm not sure because I like cheese so I do eat cheese so, because I do like cheese so I do eat a lot of cheese so but I've never had these before so let me insert the video okay guys this is what I am using for my crab cakes they are Gardein mini crispy crabless cakes there's all your information on it they are kosher, they are vegan. My whole meal will not be vegan, but these are. I don't even know if I like these. I have never tried them before, so this will be my first time trying them. They look good on the package. I actually have no idea what they're going to taste like. Here are the ways of cooking them. I believe that I am either going to bake them or fry them. I haven't decided. But there you go. That's what it looks like. I thought I'd share that. I found these just in my regular grocery store. So that is what we're having. Crabless cakes. I'll see you guys in the video. There you go. That's what I'm using. I have never in my life had crab. I've never liked the smell of crab. Not that there's probably nothing to matter with it, but the a smell was always offsetting to me, so I never had it, and I can tell you these smell exactly like crap. <laughs> so I hope I'm gonna like it. I probably already psyched myself out not to. Here's a close-up of it. I baked these in. Let me move this forward for just a minute. I baked. I put my arm in the pickle. <laughs> baked these in the oven. So I'm going to split it open. Show you the inside. That's what the inside looks like. It is steaming hot, so, and it does smell like crab. It really does. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm nervous to try it. Isn't that sad? I, a long, no, this is a long time ago, because I was, hold on, let me wipe off my hands here if you don't mind. My shirt keeps coming down. I have another little thing on underneath it, but I hate to, I think I look not too high. I'm not that much of a granny yet, I don't think. <laughs> So let's try it like that, but it keeps coming down. And everybody don't want to. Well, darn, I don't know. What this? Look? But um, I a long time ago I, I dated a guy, and when he wasn't working, he loved to go crabbing. He loved crab, and he'd go crabbing. And he'd always try to make me eat it, and I'm like, no, I don't, I don't want to eat it. <laughs> and every, I mean, I know a lot of people love crab. I, it's the smell that gets me. I don't know why. So I'm gonna try this with you guys. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. They just happened to have the Gardein buy one, get one free. So I thought, okay, free, I could try it, and then I won't, I won't be so upset if I don't like it. So, ready, guys? <laughs> I'm just scared. Mm. 
It actually doesn't taste too bad. It's a little bit of soft texture inside. I could eat them. Would I buy them again? I don't know. I'm not sure yet on that. <laughs> so, but they really, they have a nice little flavor. It's a little bit, of, it's actually not too good. So if nobody's tried it, it's not bad. Superfly says not bad. <laughs> As a matter of fact, when I was buying these, I was at the grocery store buying it. And um, the lady asked me, are those good? <laughs> I said, I don't know. I never tried them before, but they're buy one, get one free, and I figured that's the best time to try it, right? So. It does smell like crab. I can tell you that. When I opened up the bag, I was like, ooh, it's overpowering smell of crab meat. <laughs> Guys, he would, my ex-ex, actually he proposed to me too. This is when I was, how old was I? Um... Hmm. I was maybe 20, 21. I dated him for a while. He actually proposed to me, proposed marriage, and um, I accepted. Oh, there we go. It's Christine's show. <laughs> Can you guys see this? Okay. The smoked Gouda mac and cheese is so good. Mm. But things didn't work out. And we did not get married. I was married before Mr. Superfly. And I was married to him for about, I don't know, 10 years maybe. I think I'm going to try a little mayo. I have these because um, from parties, we get packs of these and have some left over. And I keep them because if I decide to pack my lunch or something, it's easy for me to just <laughs> take a couple packs of these to add it on. Because sometimes if you put mayo, mayo on, I don't even know if this tastes good. If you put mayo on ahead of time, it gets a little yucky. So I like to have those with me. I don't know. I don't know if there's a sauce for crab or not or anything, to be honest with you. So I couldn't tell you. But back to my story. But he would always crab and crab and crab and he loved crab and we ate all the time so I always smelled it and I just didn't like the smell of it. Plus I always I don't know. Well, I'm not saying crab is bad. I just didn't, <laughs> I just didn't want to try it. But this doesn't taste bad. I don't really know how long we were together. I'd say he was, he wasn't. I guess he was my first most serious. I would say it was probably my first most serious relationship, so I guess so, since he proposed. <laughs> but um, I was trying to think there was another boyfriend I had that I, I really loved him a lot. Um, but it didn't work out. It was nothing really super serious, but um, we were pretty attached to each other. But it didn't, that didn't work out either. <laughs> But we were never engaged. He was younger than me. The, the first one that I was... That I really think was my first true love. But we never got really super serious. But it was a really nice time. You know. But, and then um, this one, I don't... The one that proposed, that did the crabs. We were, I don't, I'm not sure. For a few years, I don't remember. Got 
along well with his family. Things just don't always work out, right? I should start my own soap opera. <laughs> Superfly's world. As the world turns for Superfly. <laughs> I was never really into um, soap operas. I did watch a little bit for a few years, but I was never like, oh, I, if I missed it, I missed it. I didn't care. I was never big on, you know, soap operas, but the ones I did watch were um, General Hospital and All My Children. And we're talking way, way back in the 80s. I don't want, I definitely have not. It was back then and I didn't watch them after that. my dessert but I'll eat it with my meal <laughs> I'm weird I could I could mix whatever you know I could eat a piece of I don't eat much desserts dessert desserts if I do I don't care if you know if I have it sitting there and I take a bite of it in between <laughs> it just doesn't bother me some people they can't do it my husband no way you know he is so picky he's definitely bless you that was my son definitely a meat and potato guy he loves meat and potatoes for, you know, I'm not. <laughs> I have the door open so you hear all this going on, but this is so good. This Gouda, smoked Gouda on this mac and cheese. Oh my gosh. My son tried it. He said he didn't like, he said there's a little bit of aftertaste, so he didn't like it. I'm not a big fan of smoked cheese. I, I do not like smoked provolone. But the smoked Gouda is really good. And these aren't bad. I don't know that I would buy them again. And they have like little pepper pieces in them. There's a little piece right there, but they have a nice flavor, a nice flavor. But the, as soon as I opened the bag, I was like, oh, no, I don't know if I like these. <laughs> Definitely edible. Nice little change. So. It says 77 outside. Beauti it's a beautiful day. There's no big breeze, so I have my door open. But last night we had the heat on, it was cold. So. I don't know, I didn't feel good yesterday at all. I went to work, I got off in the afternoon, I came home, I picked up a couple things I picked up this stuff and picked up a couple other things and brought it home. Then I started dinner and made um, potatoes. <laughs> uh, my husband wanted boiled potatoes, peas, gravy, and meatballs. We made dinner. He had he mixed. I, I wasn't getting up till late, so I asked him if he had time. We mix the meatballs for me because he likes them seasoned a certain way. And normally I do them a little earlier, form the meatballs and put them in the fridge so all that seasoning can kind of you know blend in there. And um, so I asked him if he gets a chance would he do that for me and he did he had that ready for me and he actually cut the potatoes and had the potatoes going when I got home so that was nice he didn't have to because he worked all day too so you know he never stops working he's a very hard worker 
to have to say that. I made dinner and I, I made the salad for me yesterday, so this is from yesterday. I couldn't eat it. I just I just didn't feel good. And um, I went in the bedroom. I watched a TV program and um, was laying down. I thought, I just do not feel good. I told my husband, I feel really sick. I was really sick. Probably just one of those little bug things that gets you, you know. Because... <laughs> People come in shopping or ordering their cakes and they're sick. And you know, I try to be nice and scooch away, then they scooch closer. I scooch away, they scooch closer. You know, they're coughing, they're sneezing, whatever else. I'm like, oh gosh. I know everybody has to come in and do shopping. But I mean, if you see somebody scooching away a little bit and you're coughing, sneezing, runny nose, and whatever else, don't come closer. <laughs> distance you know I gotta I gotta work for a living there and if I get sick I get sick you know so every time I turn around somebody's coming sick or somebody's sick at work but I feel better today so I think it was just one of those little bugs my stomach was really badly upset it hurt real bad it's real bad upset I didn't do anything unusual you know like eat something different or and all I had yesterday, I think, was vegetable salad. I had a little bit of potato. And for breakfast, I had toast. And then I had a little bit of fruit. So I didn't eat anything that would really make me sick. Mm. But... I was laying in there. I just told my husband I'm gonna just go lay down and watch some shit TV. I watched the show and I wanted to watch. And I was laying there and I was like, I am so tired. My stomach hurts so bad. I started getting really tired. So probably about eight o'clock I came out and told my husband, look. I'm going to lay down, watch TV, and if I fall asleep, I fall asleep. He has to work the next day. So he like, he's, you know, we both do it. If, if the other one's not working, we take our clothes out of the bedroom and take him into the bathroom and then get dressed in there so that the other person could sleep in and they don't have to come in and out. Even though he comes in and out, in and out two or three times, I don't never come back in. Once I go out, I'm out. <laughs> But he sometimes forgets something or he comes and gets Nikki and takes her potty so I don't have to get up early and take her potty. Me, she don't want to go out with me. She wants to be out with him because she thinks he protects her. <laughs> but um, but he, can't. he says, well, we'll come get his clothes. But I lay down. I'm like, I don't care if I fall asleep. I'm just too tired. It's probably about 9 o'clock. I started dozing off. He came in around 10. Got his clothes together. I missed a show I wanted to watch last night. So I have to hopefully watch that on demand when it comes on demand. But I don't know what it was. I just felt really yucky. I do not think I heard my husband come to bed. I don't know. <laughs> Usually I'm up. I hear Nikki come running in the bedroom, jumping on the bed because she's ready to go to bed. And then she knows he's following right behind. That's when she comes when she knows he's coming. 
she runs in, jumps on a bed, waits for him, and then he comes. He tosses his blanket a few times, a few times, because we do it, in the summertime. It gets so hot. We have our own blanket to wear. Because he would always get mad at me. I, I'm always hot, so I throw it off and throw it on top. <laughs> That if we had one big one, I'd throw it over and then he'd have double the blanket and he'd be like, I'm hot, quit throwing your blanket on me. So we just do uh, two separate ones that way the person can take it off and put it aside or whatever else, which is funny. But he flips his blanket and, and she gets all excited, jumps up and down. And then he lays down and she gives him kisses goodnight, you know. But if I'm really tired and I'm in bed already and sleep, he'll quietly carry her in and set her on the bed. And um, she still kisses him at night, but he tries to keep her as quiet as he can. <laughs> she loves him so much. It's, it's pathetic. It really is. My dog, he stole her from me. She's so spoiled rotten. She really is. Well, guys, I am getting full, and I don't want this video to be too long, too. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, these actually weren't too bad. The, the smell kind of made me worry a little bit, but after I had a few bites, I was thinking, oh, it's not really not too bad. So it's nice for a little change to have something a little different. So, And this is delicious. If you could get it, get it, okay? But... I hope everybody has a wonderful day or wonderful evening, depending on where they are. Um, I appreciate you guys very much. You mean a lot to me. I am so happy to have all of you in my life. You are definitely my super fam, and um, I appreciate it. Please comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys later. I love you very much. Bye-bye.